it's December 20 something I think it's a 27th I ain't sure I meant to look for I started this video but uh, it's cold out here it's 35 degrees they were calling for snow last night so I put the truck in front in case we got snow and we didn't get no snow as you can see now I gotta get the car out because we gotta leave in like <laughs> five minutes problem is it's gonna take me 15 to get that truck running probably cold natured so, yeah, might as well call this cold start video. Only two of them in it. One of them ain't gonna be very eventful though. That thing right there always starts, obviously. Left my doors unlocked last night in case it froze. I uh, just untied my boot. Oh well, don't matter. Not that this is gonna do any good because it's got an electric fuel pump on it, but. Let's take it out of gear. Yeah, I do have a clutch safety switch. I have to push the clutch or it won't even turn over. I can't hit the switch. There we go. Yep, I knew that was going to happen. Stay running. Ah, we gonna hold her there for a minute, let her warm up. Uh, I guess we're not. I hope I didn't just set my breather on fire. Popped out a carburetor. All right, we gonna we gonna be a smart aleck here. We gonna get out and set the choke so it'll stay running. And it's gonna die on me while I'm trying. Not that you can see what I'm doing, but I'm flipping the choke lever back right here. Alright, hold on, I gotta set you down a little bit for a second, because you, know, you ain't gonna be able to see what I'm doing, I don't think, but. No, you ain't gonna be able to see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna set the camera down here. Well, phone, whatever. If you use the phone for a camera, my good camera's still broke. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna set you down for a second, because I gotta set this idle a little higher. Now, give her a second, she'll warm up, she'll try to die again, and then it'll run. How'd you like to have to do that every morning when it's cold? I do. Don't really bother me none. I'm actually going to try to zigzag this truck over in the yard over here. I'll probably have to drop it in four-wheel drive to get in the yard because it's kind of muddy, but... grab what well, says four low all the way back here but I've got the hubs unlocked so it's really too low I could have locked the hubs but then I wouldn't have been able to turn and it dies
could have backed the uh, Chevrolet up a little bit more, but shit. Is insisting on dying on me. We're gonna leave her sitting right here for a minute. We're gonna start that other and back it up a little bit. Give me some more room to move around here. Well, this ain't gonna be a very interesting cold start though. 2003 Chevrolet Impala. Doors are locked on this one. Ex police car, and I can prove it. That's not a whole lot of proof, but still, if you look back here. You can see the crease where the divider was. Runs good though. How interesting is this cold start? Turn the radio down. Well, this one starts easy, don't it? We're gonna back up about. Yay, far in this one. I'm gonna leave it running, let the heater warm up on it. I'm gonna freeze to death all the way up here. Eh, now both my boots is untied. Look at that. You see this? Why do I keep untying my boots? All right, now I'm gonna scooch this over at the yard. Or I'm gonna try to. It'll stay running now. Kind of looking behind me. Wave. My window's closed. Wave to the camera. Told you I'd have to use four wheel drive. It ain't got a posi track in the rear. So, you like to spin. Here's my solution. Ooh, I slid downhill a little bit. <laughs> the hell my hubs ain't locking in I'm still spinning hit the gate I hit the gate it was in my way didn't hurt nothing can you see what I'm seeing right there not much I hope I can miss that Chevrolet. Uh, yeah, I believe we're gonna miss her. Let's see if we can try not to tear the yard up. I don't want to drop that again. I've tore it up a couple times. All right, we are in low range just because, well truck not running it's easy, running right it's easier to move it in low range more power to wheels that way uh, I think she's gonna sit there actually I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it off and pull the Chevrolet up and then put this back where the Chevrolet is sitting at. I am going to get my boot strings all kind of muddy. Yeah, 
You didn't turn the radio back up, did you? Good. I'm gonna hand the camera off to you for a second. Hold that for a second. My shoes are probably untied. Thank you. This would be my car. No, it would not. This would be our car. Our Thank car. You very much. I'm editing that out completely. <laughs> Why? After all the fighting I did with that truck, just get the car out. You have to ask why. This would be our car. There you go. This would be me hoping that we don't get our car stuck back here in the mud. Oh, no, we're moving. I don't want to get it muddy, though. Oop, there's a cinder block there. You want to get out and open gate the rest of the way since you had to try to open it while I was still... Moving a truck. Got to put her to work somehow. See if she falls. See if she falls. I put her in the mud. Hey, that ain't all the way open. Pick up on the. You dipstick, don't even know how to raise the bar up. There's a bar, you pull a bar up and the gate opens easier. Get in the car. You gotta kick that gate, it's bent. And for once it wasn't me. It was her. In that car, not, not her. The one who owns that car. My mama backed into the fence and bent it. Alright, we're going to park this on the side of the road for a minute. Leave it running. I don't think nobody's going to run off of it, but run off with it with that in it. She's so smacking upside the head. She'd smack them upside the head so damn hard that they wouldn't be able to think to drive off. Yeah. I can't zigzag this thing after driving that truck. It feels too tiny. Back in a second. And again, sorry if the video or audio quality or both suck. Uh... <laughs> My good camera is broke still. I cannot afford to fix it right now. And I definitely can't afford a new one. And holy cow, it is not from spinning. I am sinking. Why does my tires is? You wouldn't think I'd sink, but I am. Let's get out of here before we get stuck. Or high, just in case. Straight up here, cut it to the lock, and watch it try to dig instead of move. Okay, she's gonna die, so we're going back right back in here where we started at, and we're gonna swing around instead. Ooh, we're sliding downhill. What do I always slide downhill no matter what I'm driving right there? Okay. Now let's try that. Well, we ain't got to pull out on the hill there. Oh, it won't go in first gear. Go in first gear, damn you. This is an 86 Ford F-150, but it's been converted to carburetor. It still has the electronic distributor in it. Electronic advance, which does not work. So... You can imagine how well, <laughs> note the sarcasm, this thing runs in, uh, at the highway speeds. It don't exactly move very well. It runs out of power about uh, 45, 50 mile an hour. But that ain't what I bought it for. And uh, hang on, it takes two hands to get his key out. So hang on, hold on. What can you see? I'm holding the under the pin. I'm going to hold the under the pin. I turned the camera off with my chin. Okay, we're back. We, we're back out of yard. We are back out of way. 
back far enough to get the car back in here. And you watch, it'll snow tonight. And I'll need this truck again. And I'll put it back in its hole. Look at all that mess. That's not from spinning, mostly. That's just from sliding sideways. Whatever, I don't care. I'll fix it eventually. Put the keys back in my pocket. All that is from spinning because nobody can pull out this yard without spinning except me, apparently. And I got that one almost stuck the other day. I better unlock my hubs. They'll stick. There's a cop sitting on A Avenue right up here in front of the car, and I'm parked on the wrong side of the road. I better get out of there. Let me unlock my hubs first. See if this cop's got anything to say about me parking there because I'm only sitting there for a minute. See him? That cop up there. I'm going to cut the camera off and uh, we'll be back later if I have to move that back out again if it's going to rain or snow tonight because it's supposed to get down to low freezing again. Anyway, see you later.